These are my favorite accessories for the Sony 200 to 600 zoom lens. Since the last video I posted, which was the review of the Sony 200-600 with the Sony A7R Mark IV, I've gotten a lot of questions about some of the accessories that I have on my setup here. So I decided to do a little video to talk to you about those. Um, I guess the most conspicuous one, and the first one I'm going to talk to you about, is the lens coat um, that I have on my lens. Um, and the lens coat is a protective neoprene cover that you put over your lens and it's made by the company called Lens Coat. Um, and it allows you to not only break up the shape and pattern and the color of your lens, but it protects it. To me, that's the most important part. It protects it from nicks and scratches. So um, the lens is nice and clean after, um, you know, uh, well, after you use it for quite a while. Um, so it protects and keeps it in nice pristine condition should you need to sell it later on. If the uh, protection, the protective cover does get um, damaged or whatnot, it's easy to replace as well. Um, also, the nice thing that I like about it is that it actually um, allows for a better grip onto the lens itself than the smooth metal that the lens is made out of. Um, it has nice cutouts on the side for the controls and for um, uh, the adjustment knob to uh, turn your lens from vertical to horizontal. Um, and it allows you to very easily use the zoom or the focus rings without interfering with any of those operations. Um, the next thing that I really like and I enjoy using quite a bit also from Lenscoat, I have a couple of products here from Lenscoat, is what's called the lens hood. Um, and the lens hood is basically a replacement for your lens cap. I have found, especially on this lens with that, such a large lens cap, that that lens cap tends to fall off pretty easily. So the lens hood, um, again, is made out of neoprene and uh, it goes over the lens, whether you have the hood extended or you have it um, placed in in the reverse position for travel. The, 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 um, the lens hood actually fits over this pretty easily and protects your lens better actually than a lens cap, in my opinion. Um, it, uh, I, I can actually walk with it and not feel like it's gonna fall off at any point in time. The last thing that I wanna talk to you about from lens coat also is, um, is a, what's called the travel hood zoom. And let me explain to you really quick what that is. So what I have found is that this hood that comes with the 200 to 600 tends to fall off very easily. The latching mechanism is really not all that strong. As opposed to the latching mechanism on the 100 to 400, which has a lock, this one does not. And what I have found is if I'm walking through a brush or through the woods, um, this guy can get knocked off and fall off pretty easily. Instead of using this lens hood, which also adds to the bulk of the lens, I rather use the travel hood zoom from lens coat. And the way that this works is that you put it on the lens with the you know velcro straps and it has a really nice secure fit onto the lens itself. It's made of soft material um, so that even if you knock it against something as you're walking through the woods it doesn't fall off. It's much more lightweight I believe and um, also it packs really easily because it's nice and flat. I can pack it in my in my camera bag or in my luggage and take it with me uh, wherever I'm going. So I'm you know always using this um, lens hood, uh, the one from Lenscoat called the uh, travel hood zoom. There's three or three or four different models. This is the zoom model which fits perfectly for this 200 to 600. The last accessory I want to talk to you about on the uh, 200 to 600 lens is a replacement lens foot. And this lens foot is from Really Right Stuff. I have links on the, um, on the description for this video to all of these products so you guys can check them out if you want to. Um, and what this 
foot does, it replaces the foot that comes with the lens itself. And why would you want to do that? Well, there are a couple reasons why I much prefer to have this replacement lens foot. First off, it's got a built-in Arca Swiss plate. So you don't have to add a plate to the bottom of the foot that comes with the lens and uh, run the risk that it turns and becomes loose. That's number one. Um, number two, when you're actually carrying this lens out in the field, the, the plate itself is bigger, so it's actually easier to hold and carry with you. Um, I find that much more comfortable to carry out in the field. Um, and then also, the last is that it does have a QD uh, swivel release at the bottom, just like all really right, right stuff plates. And what that does is it allows me to very quickly and securely uh, attach this lens using a sling strap around, around me. So it makes it a lot easier to carry out in the field. Now, in the interest of complete disclosure, I have relationships with both lens coat and really right stuff. But I only have relationship with companies that I really believe in, that I use their products on a daily basis. I wouldn't be telling you about these products if I didn't believe in them. Um, and when I believe in a product, a lot of companies reach out to me or reach out to them and try to establish that relationship. Um, so I just want to make sure that you know that, that uh, uh, I have a relationship with them, but I wouldn't be recommending them if I didn't use them. Well, I hope that you found that information useful. If you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comment section. Um, and again, I'll have links to all of these products. I also like to make one more announcement. I just uh, released a brand new workshop going to Costa Rica for wildlife. So if you want to join me on that workshop, that's taking place uh, next year in uh, 2020, September uh, 13 um, through the 22nd in 2020. We're going to be going to Costa Rica, to the Osa Peninsula, which has been called the most biodiverse place in the world by National Geographic. This is an incredibly exciting workshop. I worked uh, really hard to put this workshop together. We're going to be spending um, six days out in the Osa Peninsula, and then we're going to be spending two additional days in the cloud forest, shooting all sorts of wildlife subjects from monkeys, sloths, um, uh, alligators, uh, 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 four different kinds of monkey species, which is really cool, um, and a plethora of birds, lots of hummingbirds, toucans, and even we're going to go on the search for the resplendent Quetzal. If you have any questions, make sure to check the links, and there'll be a link there to the workshop and to my website where you can find more information about it. Again, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would click on the subscribe button and even better if you click on that little bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Until next time, take care.